it was the Uber thing. Remember when the city hired criminals to test the rideshare company's vetting process under the watch of Calgary's mayor? Or that time he called us hillbillies if we didn't comply with his preferred way of dealing with gay straight alliance clubs in Alberta schools? Is it the reckless spending at City Hall? Or is it a combination of things that have left a sour taste in the mouths of Calgarians leading up to the municipal election on October 16th? It looks like the people of Calgary want change, but they didn't always. Just a few years ago, Mayor Nenshi enjoyed favorable approval ratings and was voted best mayor in the world. But today he sits nine points behind relatively unknown mayoral candidate Bill Smith. Polling should be taken with a grain of salt, but if the results from Main Street are anywhere close to the truth, Nenshi is in big trouble. That's enough for Smith, the former president of the Progressive Conservatives, to win. He does have some good ideas on all of the issues Calgarians are buzzing about. The much-needed Calgary Green Line, sports arenas and Olympic bids, all of which involve minimal risk to taxpayers. But other than being the anti nenshi go-to, his campaign claims to share common goals with other candidates. Lower taxes, economic growth and public safety. There is one thing in Bill Smith's way though, and that's Ward 10 councillor Andre Chabot's campaign. Chabot is pulling at third in the race at 7% and doesn't really have much of a chance of winning. And even though that's low percentage-wise, it's not far off Smith's nine-point lead. That means his supporters could really swing this race by siphoning voters from Smith when it appears he has a real chance of winning this election. But here's the thing. Chabot and Smith share common goals. Their platforms seem focused on fiscal responsibility, and they both want to unseat Mayor Nenshi. There's no sense in running two candidates with similar ideals if one is an obstruction to the desired outcome. So will Andre Chabot step aside or will this race become a battle to the bitter end that will result in handing the reins over to Mayor Nenshi again for a third victory? Or will the underdog prevail? For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out on all of our premium shows for just $69.99 for a whole year while our early bird pricing lasts. Check out the rebel.media slash shows for a look at what's new and exciting today.